Have you heard of something called Halloween Horror Nights? You have? Well, I'm not surprised. Because for the last 33 years, Universal Orlando Resort has been putting on this world-class Halloween-themed event inside of Universal Studios Florida. For those of you who may be self-proclaimed scaredy cats, this video is for you. I'm going to go over several tips for those jumpy travelers who may want to or are being forced to experience Halloween Horror Nights. If you are like me and are not a fan of scary stuff, whether it for be movies or Halloween themed events, you would not even think about going to Halloween Horror Nights. Well, unfortunately for me, my wife and oldest kid cannot get enough of scary stuff. So to my misfortune, we made the use of our free tickets to Halloween Horror Nights with our premier annual passes. Even though I am not a fan of anything like this, I did still enjoy myself and did not get nearly as worked up as I thought I would. At some points I even laughed when the scare actors caught my son off guard. To start things off, Halloween Horror Nights is a completely separate ticket that is sold compared to the normal theme park tickets. Universal Studios Florida does close earlier than normal during the night's Halloween Horror Nights is going on to allow the park to be transformed. These nights are normally Thursday through Sunday in September and Wednesday through Sunday in October. Throughout the entire park, there are 10 haunted houses which are spread between backstage studios and utilize existing ride queues as well. Major Suites for this year is actually completely built into the Fast and Furious ride, which is closed the entire time Halloween Horror Nights is going on. For the day guests though, they are not missing much since that ride is arguably the worst at Universal Orlando. In addition to the houses, there are five scare zones throughout the park. One right at the park entrance, another near the Bourne Legacy show, another in front of Revenge of the Mummy, near the exit to Fast and the Furious, and the last one being the one that freaked me out the most, being the Swamp of the Undead near the new DreamWorks land. During Halloween Horror Nights, not every attraction in the park is open. Only four rides are open, which are Rip Ride Rocket, Revenge of the Mummy, Escape from Gringotts, and Men in Black. In addition to these rides, there is a Death Eater experience that takes place inside of Diagon Alley as well. This goes on during regular park hours as well, so if you wanted to experience the Death Eaters, you are able to during regular park hours. Are you ready to experience Halloween Horror Nights? Well, before you go, be sure to listen to these tips. One of the most frequently asked questions is can the scare actors touch guests? The answer is no. They're not about to come out and get you and grab you. If they do touch you, it's completely incidental and they did not mean to do so. Something fun you can do is find a nice spot on a sidewalk near a scare zone and just people watch while the scare actors do their thing. While walking through the scare zones, if you're in the street, it is fair game to be scared. Scare actors are not allowed to exit the street. So if you walk on the sidewalks, you will bypass the scare zones. Walking through the Swamp of the Undead, there are no sidewalks, so guests should use the sensational viewing area to avoid this area. While making your way through the variety of houses, just keep up with the crowd is the best advice I can give. You will run into some jump scares, but just focus on the person ahead of you and keep up with the line. I looked around some inside of the houses, but for most of the time I tried to ignore most of what was going on. So if you're a scaredy cat, like I am, and want to go to Halloween Horror Nights, stay on the sidewalks, ignore what you can in the houses, or even better, just ride the rides since they will have significantly reduced wait times. As a scaredy cat myself, I did actually enjoy my time while I was there and only had a little bit of anxiety leaving. I hope this helped ease your mind about going to Halloween Horror Nights. If you enjoyed these tips, be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you do not miss the next Universal-related content. Until next time, travelers, have a great one.